gentlemen, the following contest is the 10-man highest honor Stampede Rumble MVP match. The contest will start with two superstars. Every 60 seconds, a new superstar will enter into the ring and you can be eliminated by being tossed over the top rope with both feet landing on the floor. The winner will be the last man standing and the new highest honor MVP. That's right guys, welcome along with us here tonight, Global Impact. Highest honor MVP will be crowned here tonight from season eight from both Takedown and Blaze Brands. And here we go, look at this guys. We're getting things started with a world champ. Introducing first, the competitor who drew number one from Chicago, Illinois, weighing 223 pounds, armed Armageddon, and world heavyweight. Champion, John That's right, guys, the World Heavyweight Champion. Winning it back at Starcade 3, the Armed Armageddon. Josh Armstrong representing Team Tap Out and coming from the Blaze brand. And what a tremendous superstar Josh Armstrong has been in the course of Season 8, although he might not be very well liked at the moment. But nonetheless, he carries that title right there, which is the highest championship on the Blaze brand that you can carry. And it is the championship of the world, guys. Josh Armstrong in his first MVP matchup here. Couple of firsts here tonight, it is the first time that a brand outside of Takedown is going to be involved in this highest honor MVP match. And that, of course, is the Blaze brand. Fantastic talent coming from the Blaze brand, guys. And it has been a complete transformation of the 3-dub wrestling universe. Let's see who's number two. Oh, man! And the competitor who drew number two. All right! From the Netherlands, weighing 245 pounds, he is the Freedom Heavyweight Champion, Crimson Warrior. That's right, guys, the Freedom Heavyweight Champion, winning the championship back at the Big Event 8. In New York City, in the main event, guys, the three stages of hell match, where Crimson Wolf would finally get his revenge on his brother, Dylan Mason, ending the 401 day title reign from the megastar, and now entering the new era with Crimson Wolf. the highest championship you can win on the takedown brand the three dub heavyweight championship guys what a way to start the, the matchup here who would have guessed this champion versus champion if you wanted a chance to see the two top dogs on each brand now is your chance to get that and guys don't forget this was at complete random only fate could bring these two heavyweight champions here in this opening bout. The first two superstars to enter the highest honor MVP matchup. Guys, here in season eight, I am excited. Let me know if you think it's gonna be one of these champions that are gonna finish this matchup and become the MVP. If not, let me know who you think is going to take it home tonight. I am excited. A lot of great talent in this matchup, guys. A couple of former 
highest honor MVP winners in this matchup already. Remy, Remy Reznor, Chris Harris. Oh wait, man, right out the gate and Josh Armstrong taking it to the three dub champ. Burn springboard DDT and it could have busted Crimson open right away here. And Iris whip into the rope, and now Josh Armstrong not playing games here tonight, guys. Comes, oh man, Crimson Wolf with the back elbow on the world champion. 60 seconds does not last very long, guys. Here comes number three, Remy Reznor in the building. Part of that massive moment at the Big Event 8 got voted moment of the night, the birth of CTC and the Cutthroat Crew with Remy Reznor and Noel Youngblood who's also in this matchup. Joe, man, Joe Rivers and Justin Perot. Interesting to see if they get involved in this matchup, guys. I don't think they should. Is it any normal Oh, and look at this. Here comes Harris. Both former MVP winners already in this matchup, Harris and Reznor. And what a feud they had earlier in the year. And Remy, Remy just took out the freedom champ. Man, oh man, guys, the first to be eliminated. Crimson Wolf, the freedom heavyweight champion by Remy Reznor. Wow, guys. And now Chris looking to eliminate Reznor alongside Josh, and here comes the Portsmouth Punisher now. The man that put CFT in the hospital for two weeks. Preceding that Portsmouth street fight, that Port City street fight. The big event eight. I hear that CFT is doing just fine, and he's gonna be back in action come season nine. No worries, everybody, okay? I know everybody was fretting whether we were gonna see CFT or not, but I, trust me, he's okay. All right, guys, here comes another superstar from the Blaze brand, holding that world championship at one point, and this is Jack Harvey, guys. Look out. Making a phenomenal transition from takedown to Blaze, and I have to say, guys, some of his best work may be outside the title program he had with James Black. Oh man, and Jack just eliminates Drew Tanner. Drew Tanner, thanks for coming here tonight. And here we go, guys. Chris Conley making his entrance into the Stampede. Highest honor MVP matchup. Dabbing around that world championship as well. Big fuse with Matt Eight Star. And of course, Joshua Armstrong and Jack Harvey. Rushing shoulders a little bit, but Chris Harris now gonna get a moment to fight against him as Harris trying to get Conley out and Armstrong and Bully working together trying to get Jack out. Oh God, here comes the, the king of freedom, guys. Juan Montana, scooping up the world champion, taking out, cut down the size, and Conley could be in trouble, no. Bully could be in trouble, and oh no, man, Whew. World champ goes down, I thought Bully Reznor was going out. Look how Double Axe taking down Conley, and here comes the king and the world champ, guys. All right. One of the most controversial superstars in all of freedom, Jimmy Shadow, the Bayou Boa lookout. Had all kinds of championships throughout this season, but does not have one currently. But he will be in that King of the Death Match tournament, guys. Don't forget to catch that with Shockwave during the offseason. Conley and Jimmy and Tuan all going to be involved in that. As 
our number 10 superstar enters and it is another member of CTC that is Noah Young Club, the fight night champion, longest reigning that is. Ali and Tuan, no strangers to one another. All right, guys, we got a jam-packed house here. We've only had two eliminations, the world heavyweight champion, the three-dub heavyweight champion, mind you, Crimson Wolf, was the first to be eliminated, shockingly. And of course, Drew Tanner also eliminated, and there comes the world champ. Both heavyweight champions are out of this matchup, and Chris Harris just disposed of Josh Armstrong. Man, oh man. And the seven individuals. Guys, let me know of the remaining who you think is going to be Season 8 MVP. It's one of the highest honored awards as mentioned, as named, that is. As you can receive here in Worldwide Wrestling, look at Joining the likes of Dylan Mason. Oh, an old man. Noah hanging on tight, Twan almost. Knocking him off as I try to go through a quick list of superstars here that have been highest honor MVP. Matt Eight Star, James Black, Russell Franchise, Dylan Mason has won it twice, and now Chris Harris and Bully Reznor here tonight try to go for a number two as well. Look at what a list of individuals, and now Chris Harris could be in trouble. Jimmy Shadow, and now, oh, kicking out Harris, able to stay strong, guys. I think Harris is my pick. You guys know I'm a Chris Harris guy. True and true. That's Juan Montana hanging on outside. Jack Harvey looking to eliminate the king and not going to do so. Long list of great individuals as king of 3-dub as well, but none have gone back to back. Two-time king like Juan Montana. Could he, ha could he add highest honor MVP to his to his repertoire? It could be, oh, look at that! Twan unable to take out Bully Reznor, but it was Jack Harvey of the Cutthroat Business taking out Bully Reznor of the Cutthroat Crew. And you guys know that little heated spark rivalry popping up over the offseason of the creation of the cutthroat business and then the emergence of the cutthroat crew at the big event eight we are down to six individuals guys this is the number that the highest honor mvp originally consisted of now it used to be a six-man elimination chamber match now with the addition of oh man there goes jack harvey jack harvey eliminated by Chris Conley. I was just saying, used to do a six man elimination chamber for the highest honor MVP, and now we have bumped it up to 10 man with the addition of the Blaze brand alongside Takedown. As in the highest honor MVP covering all of 3 Dub. We have five individuals left, guys. Cut in half this match has been. Juan Montana and Jimmy Shadow, you know there is no love lost there. Especially after what happened at Star K3, and now Jimmy's gonna try to get his revenge on Twan. Now Will King joined the monarchy at Star K3 and took out Jimmy Shadow as the special guest referee allowing Will King to win that national title. You know, Jimmy has not forgotten about that. Ooh, man, what a big knee from Noah Youngblood as Chris Harris in trouble here, guys. Chris Conley with Chris Harris, and is it gonna happen here? No. Harris able to hang on in a big knee from the king. 
to the Fight Night Champion. Good Lord, God. Oh, burn! And a huge super kick from Conlon takes Jimmy Shadow out of the matchup. Guys, we're down to the final four. Man, oh man. Jimmy would have been a good pick. I don't know, man. Oh, there goes Torn Montana. Torn Montana kicked out over the top rope from Noah Yopo. And we are down to three individuals. Did you see that? Look at Twisting neck breaker from Harris. We're down to Harris, Conley, and Youngblood. All three had an amazing season. There's Conley looking to dispose of Chris Harris. Can he do so? Harris trying to hang on, and he's gone. Harris is gone. It's down to Youngblood and Chris Conley. Both. Blaze and takedown represented. Who's gonna take it? Bar oh, no! Young blood knocked out. Chris Conley. The season eight MVP. Season eight. Highest honor MVP. Chris. Oh wait! Wait a minute! Wait a damn minute! CTC! Remy Reznor the bully! Attacking Chris Conley! He is not! Satisfied! Two members of CTC couldn't get the job done and Conley trying to fight off the cutthroat crew and it's not gonna happen as they're taking out the season eight highest honor MVP, these damn fools. Man, you can't end nothing on a good note, can you? Well, congratulations to Chris Conley for being the Season 8 Highest Honor MVP. And thanks for joining me here, guys, for Global Impact with 3 Dub Wrestling. Hey, we have Season 9 right around the corner, and I can't wait to get there. But for now, guys, I'm Dewey Danielson, signing out. Have a great night.